Hello there and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. It has been a while, hasn't it? Um, I'm sorry for that, but I sort of had to take a little break from thrifting because I have been so busy. But the last couple of weeks, I've been back into it. And I've been so excited. And I have some great vintage stuff to share with you guys today. I went to a couple thrift stores. And I also went to like a um, antique or vintage shop. So I have some things to share with you from there as well. So let's go ahead and jump into today's haul. So I've gone to a couple different thrift stores. I'm going to share those items that I found first. Um, I went to Goodwill and I also went to Unique, which is like most people's savers. Um, I found a really cool metal lampshade and it looks like this. Isn't this so neat? I just love metal lampshades. I think they are so cool. This cost me $2.39. I like the little gold detailings on it. And I love the fact that it is white. So it should fit into most of my decor anywhere in my house, which I think is pretty awesome. And it just has like the little lamp clip on the inside, which is awesome. So that was a great find. Now I just need to find the perfect little lamp to put this on because... Yeah, I don't have anything right now that I can use this on. I was thinking it would look really cute on like a wall sconce. So I may look for something like that. The next thing I picked up was another book. I'm getting quite a few books that I haven't even read yet. Um, this one is called Mornings on Horseback. And it's about Teddy Roosevelt, which I think would be a fun little read. So I picked that up. It was $2.79. If anyone's read this, let me know what you thought of the book. I've read like the first chapter and I'm already hooked. So <laughs> I love myself with some historical um, sort of books. So this is going to be awesome. This next little item I thought was such a cool find. It is a teeny tiny little restaurant wear creamer. But if you look closely on it, it says U.S. and then it has the medical side. So I'm assuming it was for... The U.S. Medical, I'm assuming Army, I'm not real sure, but I thought it was super cute, and of course it's in my colors of red and white, and I have a few other small little creamers like this, so I get to add this to the collection, which I think is awesome. It does have a marking on the bottom, it is restaurant wear, it is by the Sharango China in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, I think. I'm trying to read without my glasses. Yeah, Newcastle, Pennsylvania. I probably recognize this logo. So anyways, I just thought this was super adorable. And I'll be adding that to my little collection of creamers. The next thing I found was a cute little vase that I can display flowers in. I picked it up for $2.99. And it is this little guy right here. Isn't it cute? I love the pink floral on the front and these cute little handles on the side. It does have a mark on the bottom that says Royal Compli. It's got a cute little, there's the marking. And so I did look these up and they were made between the 40s and the 60s. So I am just thinking this is so cool. I'm going to say it's from the 40s just because I'm hoping that it is. <laughs> so I have a few others that are taller and more of like an urn shape. So I was loving the fact that this one is kind of short and you know, a little wider. So I think this would be really fun. I'm hoping to use this somewhere in my bedroom. So this next item you guys are probably gonna laugh at me for getting, but I just thought it was adorable. And since football season is in like full swing and I'm such a football fan, I thought it was perfect for me. And I thought it would look really cute downstairs in like our TV area alongside some of my um, favorite teams like pendants um, hanging on the wall. So I <laughs> picked this guy up for $3.99 and it's this cute little wall hanging of this adorable little guy holding a football in his cute little red and white uniform, which is absolutely perfect because my favorite college team is the Badgers from Wisconsin and they're in red and white. So I thought it was perfect. It does have a marking on the back, and it says Sexton, 1970, USA. Not sure if you'll be able to see that. It's printed into it right down here. I don't know if you can see that or not. So, it's from like the 70s, and I love that it is nicely 
already pre-distressed for me. It's got, you know, some of the paints chipping off and stuff. So anyways, I just thought it was cute. It'd be kind of fun to make the, like, the TV room sort of a fun area, and I think this would be a cute little way to do it. So. so the next item I picked up is a Fire King item, which I am super excited about. You guys know how much I love the red and white, and it's really hard for me to find it in my area, but I found this adorable little bowl with the red tulip on it for only $2.99. And I thought it was super adorable. And since there's only one of them, I'll probably just use it as some sort of little trinket tray sort of thing, um, probably near my kitchen sink, just to have that little pop of red in there. So I'm loving this, I think it's so cute. I love the fact that it's got this little, kind of a pedestal base. So I thought that was adorable. All right, so the next thing that I picked up was a vintage tin. It was $3.99 and it is for saltine crackers. Do you see that? How cute is that? I love it. It's got a little bit of the red and a little bit of the white. So I think it can go in my kitchen or for sure in my um, office area. I just thought it was so cute. I've actually passed up quite a few of these lately that I've been seeing every time I go like vintage shopping. And I'm kind of glad I passed them up on them because this is the best price I've ever seen at $3.99. The other ones I've seen were like somewhere between like 10 and 20. So I'm loving this. I actually just think that is so cute. So I like that. It'd be really fun to have this for like maybe in the kitchen with a flower display out of it for like the springtime or something like that, which is kind of what I've got going on in my head for that. So I can't wait for that, but now I have to wait for spring. <laughs> So the very last thing I found at the thrift stores was a vintage bread box. It was something that I have been looking for in a red and white pattern for a very long time. This one was only $6.99 and it's a little in rough condition, but it totally fits the bill and it looks like this. Isn't it adorable? It's got a nice rusty, you know, distressed top and nice beautiful red color. And then look at the side. It's got these cute little red flowers on a white background, little bits of gray, and I just love it. I think it is so pretty, and I think this is going to fit perfectly into my kitchen because I've got like the gray and white backsplash, so the gray will, you know, blend in with that, and a little pop of red. I'm thinking I can put it in the corner and then like add a little display on top of it is kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm absolutely thrilled to finally have found a bread box that I actually like. Most of the ones I come across, I'm not really thrilled with, or I don't really like the design on it. So I'm liking the design on this, I'm loving the colors, and it was a great price. So uh, I'm just so excited. So the last three things I have to share with you are from the vintage store or antique store that I went to. The first thing I picked up was $8.00 and it was marked as a vintage toast holder, but I don't know, it looks like something you'd use on a desk to, you know, hold papers or envelopes or whatever. So that is what I bought it for. And I think it'll look really cute on my desk in my office. So I'm loving that. I've actually been thinking about looking for something like that to put on my desk. So that was a very timely find. I also found something that I've been on the lookout for that I want to add to my vintage um, camping gear, and that is a red lantern. This, this is so awesome. Such an awesome find. Um, it was $16, and I thought that was a great price. It's in pretty good condition. I actually probably could clean it up and actually use it. It's in that good a condition. But I'm just so thrilled. I mean, it's so basic, but to me, this is totally totally something if you're gonna do a little camping display you definitely need a lantern so super excited to have found this all right so the last thing to share with you guys today is a vintage wall sconce this is the my favorite find from the antique store and it looks like this isn't it cool so I can't remember how much I paid for this. It was either 18 or it was 21. I still can't remember off the top of my head, but it is made, you can see in the back, it's got the little wires poking out here. Um, it is made to be hardwired, but I'm gonna turn it into a candle holder 
Um, and I hang it here somewhere in my living room. I just think it is so cool. This thing is so heavy. And I just think it's neat. I think it's the coolest thing. And I'm so excited about it. So my husband just kind of rolled his eyes when I showed it to him. He thought it was stupid. But oh, I love it. I love it so much. So I am thrilled to have found that. All right. So those are my finds from this past week. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my haul today. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite find of the week was. And of course, if you have been out and about thrifting in your neck of the woods, let me know what you found down in the comments so we can chat about it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye now.